What's everyone doing? Crypto traders and investors, it's Rod with Power Group. Welcome back on the Pursuit of Wealth. It's Wednesday, May 18th. Hope you're well today. And in this video, we've got an exciting one for you. Some news just broke that Mike Novogratz broke his silence. And I have yet to read the article and I wanted to come on right away and read this with everybody. Uh, going to keep this video as short as possible as well. Before we get to it though, make sure to smash the likes and subscribe to the channel. It doesn't cost you anything. And tick the bell, you'll be notified on any future updates. Taking a look at the You Today article that just came out. And and we know that he's been basically radio silence, tweeting every other day or at least every day. Uh, always got something to say and an opinion to be had. And we know that he actually put a tattoo of uh, Luna on his arm. I'll just bring it up here. I, I forgot to bring it up here real quick. But uh, Luna tattoo. So he's got an actual tattoo of Luna that he got. And, you know, I feel bad for anybody that's holding Luna first and foremost. Um, that's never good. We never want to see anything go to zero. Uh, but you can see here that he was a big believer in Luna and couldn't understand why, why other, you know, cryptos like Cardano and XRP have value. Uh, but anyways, uh, Mike Novogratz breaks his silence on a Luna collapse. So again, I haven't re read this yet. So let's go through it together. Galaxy Digital, so he's a hedge fund manager of a crypto hedge fund company, Galaxy Digital. Uh, one of the top proponents of the failed Luna token has finally weighed in on the collapse of the token in recent shareholder letter. Novogratz, who had been early uh, had been eerily silent on Twitter over the past uh, week or so, claims that he was busy reflecting on the economy and the cryptocurrency industry, <laughs> yeah, or his own uh, ability to, to conduct research and uh, act faithfully and and you know, intellectually, honestly, and genuinely. Um, yeah, no, no wonder he needs to reflect on his own. Uh, yeah, I, I'd need to reflect if I were him too, right? He says that the algorithmic UST stablecoin, which lost its peg earlier this month, was a big idea that failed. Okay, and we also had Swissborg uh, that predicted that this could potentially enter a death spiral and fail, and it actually ended up happening. So it's not like we weren't warned. Novogratz says that Galaxy invested in Luna of the fourth quarter of 2020. In January, he proudly showed off his tattoo, which I just showed you, devoted to the high-flying cryptocurrency. And this cryptocurrency was in the top 10, right? It lost billions of dollars uh, in a matter of days, right? And this is why uh, we need to be very careful and do our own research. Don't just listen to what you know a YouTube person is saying. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to anybody else that you're listening to. Had tons of uh, saw tons of YouTubers pumping Luna and saying that XRP was going to go to zero. That's called karma. Um, when you're saying that other and and they still bash other projects. Like they they make their own. Sh they make a show dedicated to saying which cryptos are going to fail. How about stop focusing? It takes more energy to be negative than it does to be positive. How about stop focusing on the ones that are going to fail and tell us about the ones. That are going to succeed. It's just absolute ludicrous. After the implosion of the token, Novokratz was widely ridiculed for his over-the-top promotion of the cryptocurrency project. Yeah, he, he pumps Ponzi's and, and pyramid schemes, but he, he says that XRP and Cardano are garbage and he can't understand the, va the, the value of these networks, right? Legitimate uh, crypto product projects that are being used by uh, enterprise, enterprise level grade software. My tattoo will be constant reminder of the venture investing requires humility, the billionaire said. Yeah, or just doing actual research and not just being a moon boy. And and, uh, you know, he even shorted XRP and said, couldn't understand why, why XRP had value. But yet he owns Ripple, the, the private company. Explain that to me. That's like saying, oh, I believe in Coca-Cola, but I don't like their soft drinks. Oh, okay. This guy's super intelligent. The price of the governance token peaked at $118 before collapsing to literally zero uh, in a few days. To overall bearishness in the crypto market due to the unfavorable macro conditions, the billionaire explains that the downward pressure on Bitcoin, the reserve asset of the Luna Foundation Guard Foundation, uh, the Luna Foundation Guard Foundation and UST withdrawals triggered the Black Swan event. Actually, it wasn't really that Black Swan. Black Swan is something that no one saw coming. Swissborg actually predicted that this was going to happen. You were told it was going to happen, but you still uneducatedly and uh, just, uh, you know, uh, ah. I can't even, it makes me so upset that these people are just lying through their teeth and they're doing it because they're, they're doing it to, to pump the projects that they believe in. But the companies that or the projects are not invested in, they'll throw under the bus and say they're going to zero. This is called karma, folks. And if you listen to these crooks, uh, this is what's going to happen. So I can encourage you to all do your own financial research and don't buy something because somebody says buy it. The LFG, Luna Fou uh, Foundation Guard, didn't have enough reserves in order to prevent the disaster, entered a death spiral. So essentially, they backed it by an unstable uh, asset like Bitcoin. The Bitcoin started to fall, and then there was some arbitrage opportunities. They started selling UST for, uh, for uh, Luna for UST, and then ended in a death spiral. You can look up the whole uh, technicalities of it, uh, but essentially, it just uh, it, it wasn't backed by anything physical, right? It was just an algorithmic. It's not like uh, 
it's, it hasn't been tested. It's a new protocol and it hasn't actually been tested like USDT, right? That's actually physically backed by treasuries and, and you know, actual dollars, right? Although much ink has been spilled on the topic, many still remain baffled by the rapid demise of one of the biggest blockchain projects that, seeming, that was seemingly too big to fail. Just because something is in the top 10, folks, doesn't mean it's going to be there forever, right? Uh, not even Bitcoin, right? Did we, do we still use uh, black and white televisions? No. Do we still use the first uh, cell phone that was ever created? No. Do we still use dial-up internet? No. What makes you think, uh, you know, Bitcoin is going to be here? I'm not, I'm not saying it won't or it will. I'm just saying there's pretty good chance that it might not be, right? Uh, XRP, though, being sued by the uh, SEC, Mike Novogratz has no idea how this thing uh, has any value, but yet it's stayed in the top 10 for the entirety of its life and its existence. Um, yeah, this is just absolute ludicrous. Novogratz attributes the token's collapse to unfavorable global market conditions, or the project wasn't sound and hadn't actually uh, stood the test of time. And it was actually Bill Ackman, billionaire investors, actually calling it a pyramid scheme, right? Uh, promising 20% returns, not actually backed by anything. And it has no other utility other than saying, uh, you know, that, it, that it's going to have this stable coin. Like, other than the stable coin, UST, it had no utility. That's why it failed. The billionaire, and it wouldn't have entered a death spiral if other people had other use for it, right? If they had utility. That's why utility coins are going to matter in the next bull market. The billionaire advises investors to build a diverse portfolio of crypto assets, which precisely uh, what Ga Galaxy did, right? Yeah, but he won't tell you to buy XRP or Cardano, the actual legit product projects, uh, because he's a Bitcoin maximalist. And uh, yeah, he just likes to invest in Ponzi's by the looks of it. Despite the shocking collapse of Terra, Novogratz is convinced that crypto is not going away, but he also warns investors that the market will not head straight back. Oh, well, thanks for your uh, amazing, uh, you know, advice and your expertise because you've been great so far, right? You're telling us not to buy XRP. Uh, XRP went, you said it was going to zero. You were shorting XRP. It went from $17 to two, almost $2 uh, a few months later. Mm, yeah. Okay. XRP has stayed in the top 10. You were pumping, got a tattoo of Luna that's literally um, created tons of turmoil in not only the crypto space, but in many people's personal lives, right? This is, uh, this is an example of what not to be like. If you're looking to model yourself after, um, you know, somebody as an idol, do not be like this guy. This is a terrible human. He does not tell the truth. And there's so many people, like, I've, like I said, I've seen so many different uh, channels and YouTube channels that are pumping Luna and then saying that they wish XRP would go to zero. They're saying that they, there was, I'm not going to name any names, but there's literally ch uh, channels on YouTube pumping Luna and then saying that XRP is worthless and it's going to zero. Okay. That's called karma. And anybody who does that deserves everything they have coming to them. We should not wish ill on any other project. We want every project to do well on a level playing field, right? And I wish I don't talk bad about any other project. You know why? Because I focus on the, com the, the projects and the companies and the, and the things that I think are going to do well. I don't focus my energy on bashing other companies and saying why, because I'm not a terrible human. Hopefully uh, you've taken some value from this. And personally, I will never listen to anything Mike Novogratz has to say. And you should do your own research and do not take what other people say to heart. Do your own research. Don't just buy something because somebody else believes in it. You have to believe in it as well. Thanks so much for joining us on The Pursuit of Wealth. If you could smash the like on your way out, help support me and the channel doesn't cost you anything. Subscribe if you're new here. Take the bell. You'll be notified on any future updates. Thanks again. We'll see you in the next video, folks.